Why are properties so expensive? Should I buy high rise or landed? Insurance for property? Huh? What's up everyone? Welcome to BC. My name is Vincent. And I'm Chloe. As a real estate negotiator, we came across a lot of questions by a lot of first home buyers when they are scouting for their first home. These are the top three questions by our first home buyers. Are you one of those who have these questions in mind? So the first question would be, why are properties so expensive? So this is the first thought that many first time home buyers who are just beginning to search for a house will have. Apart from the fact that property is costly, Home buyers are attracted to various benefits of the house at the beginning of their property hunting. Home buyers will be attracted to a house based on how well it's decorated, the location, the amount of space, amenities, facilities, and other benefits it can provide to the home buyer. So the most often thing that determines why a property is so expensive is mainly because of the location. The closer you are to the city centre, the more expensive your property would cost. Everybody wants somewhere accessible to many places, especially their work areas, eateries, groceries, and so on and so forth. Well, the next thing would be the facilities. Ever notice that the more facilities that the developer provides, the higher the price of the property? Well, this saves up for your living costs because you save up your time on money, um, on gas, for transportation, as you can get all of these facilities within the same building or area. You don't have to go to a swimming complex to swim. You don't have to go to a gym with your car. Just walk to your own gym. So let's talk about the space. Well, of course, the bigger the space your property has, the more you have to pay for it. That's where we can determine the price per square feet according to your property. The more benefits the house offers, the higher the price of the property will be. Looking for a house actually requires a lot of work. So firstly, make a list of the area you're interested in and your budget also. Then slowly filter out the properties based on the list. So the second most asked question is high rise or landed property. So if you're planning to buy a new project, you need to know that the most properties nowadays are being launched mostly high rise property. Because the lands are getting more limited, you have better chance to purchase an affordable landed property if you are located outside the city centre area. Of course, there are still landed house close to the city centre area, but be prepared that to bear the high cost of the property. The benefit of living in the landed property is you own a bigger space compared to most of the high rise. A shorter walking distance from your car park to your house, potentially a small garden for you and many more. Yet, the disadvantages of living in a landed house are having high maintenance and repair costs, lack of security like a high-rise has, flooding issues, invasion of insects. I hate that. Ooh. So, for high-rise properties, on the other hand, offers a variety of amenities and facilities including like gym, swimming pools, and many more. It also offers a better view obviously, cleaner air and it's also less noisy. Compared to a landed property, you get better security and you also might find the price more affordable. Well, there are of course disadvantages for high-rise properties that will be sharing the same facilities with your neighbors. Lab. The extra maintenance fee that you have to pay monthly, not to mention a smaller space that most high-rise offers, but this will be insufficient for bigger families, yet it will be very perfect for single people, couples, or smaller families. So the third most asked question is, do I really need to buy an insurance for my property? If you are first home buyers, this is a very important question that you need to answer. Often, the inexperienced home buyer can't tell the difference between do I need this or do I not? So why is it compulsory to take this according to most banks? What is the importance of having a mortgage life insurance? So it is used to protect for the bank in death, 
total permanent disability that stops you from servicing the loan. When you are no longer around or you don't have the ability to generate an income, a mortgage insurance policy frees the borrower's dependence from any debts. The insurance company will pay off the remaining debts on repayment mortgages. Thus, allowing your spouse or beneficiaries to continue staying in that property debt-free without having to worry about settling the house loan. Now, do you know why are properties so expensive? Should you get a high-rise or a landed property? Do I really need insurance to buy a property? I think most of these questions will go back to the question, are you ready to bear this commitment? If you are, can your monthly income carry the cost of your monthly installment? Banks have certain criteria in order for them to approve your loan. Want to know more about that? Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more and also comment down below on anything you want to hear from us. Thank you for watching today's video. My name is Vincent. And I'm Chloe. And we'll see you in the next video. Ciao.